Hey, Bridezilla. How's the wedding going? OMG, Olivia, you won't believe this. We had to change the restaurant again and again because Ethan's mom didn't like the food. I couldn't say anything, but, you know, she's a chef. She's better at this than me. Yeah, she has really good taste. Anyway, now everything's perfect and all under my control. My wedding is ready. I'm so ready. I can't wait to walk down the aisle tomorrow. Oh, darling, I'm so happy for you. You're such a lucky girl to marry an amazing man like Ethan. Yes, I know. He's going to be the best groom ever. And you're my most beautiful bridesmaid, Olivia. Thank you for being my bridesmaid. Vivian, you don't have to thank me. Who else is more suitable to be your bridesmaid than me? Your best friend, huh? I love you, bestie. I'm in seventh heaven right now. Hold on. Don't cry too soon. Save it for your big day, Vivian. By the way, have you received my wedding gift? Oh, yes, I received it this afternoon. Thank you so much, Olivia. I really want to open it right now, but Ethan is not here. He's at his bachelor party with his bros. I think I'll open all the presents with him tomorrow after the party. Well, maybe it would be fun if you would open it now. I prepared a huge surprise for you, honey. Really? Should I? Of course. Go ahead. Hold on, I'm opening it. I guess it's lingerie in red, right? You keep telling me about how important lingerie is for the new bride all the time. Actually, I did buy new lingerie yesterday, but they're for me. So, nope, not lingerie. My gift is way hotter. I'm so excited to see your reaction, Vivian. Oh my god, what the heck is this? Olivia? I can't believe this. You sent me photos of someone making love? Wait, the quality is not good, but I can tell the man is Ethan. Then who's the woman in the photo with my fiancé? Because that is definitely not me. I suppose she's the most beautiful girl who's going to be the bridesmaid at a wedding tomorrow. What? Yes, you're right. It's me, Vivian, your bestie. Surprise! What do you mean by that? You and Ethan are cheating on me? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Is this a prank or anything? If so, it's not fun at all, Olivia. What a pity. It's true, sweetheart. Do you know how hard I tried to take all of those photos to send to you? Really, really hard. <laughs> You're lying. Tell me this is just a stupid joke. I wish, but I can't. There is no way Ethan did this to me. Even if what you're telling me is all true, then why? Why did you do this to me, Olivia? You're my best friend, aren't you? Because I don't want you to have everything. Since high school, you've always been the main character of all the parties. Nice face and a good family. The perfect girl that everyone loves. No matter what I tried, I was just a friend of Vivian. I never surpassed you. I hated it so much. Why did you still hang out with me? Because I wanted to be involved with everyone. Being the best friend of a famous girl like you benefited me a lot. You know, I went to big parties with you. I made friends with hot guys. That's why I stayed beside you, even as a shadow. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I don't care about the high school stuff. I want to know why you slept with my fiancé. Vivian, I told you because I don't want you to have everything, including the hottest guy in the Dakotas. I'd been Ethan's friend before you met him. I loved him first. He belongs to me, not you. You get the crown. I'll take the king. How long have you two cheated on me? About two months, I guess. After he proposed to me? No way! You can ask him. But you'll never change the fact that Ethan loves me. He chose me over you. He said he was going to my house after the party tonight. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm wearing new lingerie, by the way. You're insane, Olivia. You hadn't done anything to get his heart before he was mine. But now, after years when we're about to get married, you've all of a sudden decided to steal him away from me. Olivia, why did you tell me all these things right before my wedding? Well, I just wanted to make your life miserable. 
as you did to me in high school. What a witch! I can't believe that I considered you my best friend. Oh, don't worry, princess. I'll let him go tomorrow so that he can join your little wedding on time. See you tomorrow. Ethan, where are you right now? Baby, I'm on my way to my cousin's house. We're having another party there. I might be home late. Don't wait for me. Go to sleep, honey. Tell me the truth. Are you going to Olivia's house? What? No. Why would I go to the bridesmaid's house? Because you're cheating on me with her. Are you drunk, Bay? You're so funny right now. <laughs> There's no way I cheated on my lovely wife. Ethan, I know all the shady things you two did behind my back. You don't have to lie. Um, what shady things? Olivia took some photos of you two making love and sent them to me this afternoon. What the heck did she do? Is she crazy? So now you admit your love affair, huh? Honey, I swear, it was just an accident. She was trying to seduce me. But you still fooled around with her, even though you were getting married in two months. An accident? Who's funny now, Ethan? Vivian, I'm so, so sorry. Please, give me a chance. What are you going to do? Um, I'll end everything between me and her tonight. Yes, I'll do it. Then tomorrow, there will only be me and you and our wedding, okay? Ethan, you cheated on me with my bridesmaid. How can I believe what you said? No, I absolutely can't. But I'm your husband. Not yet. Vivian, why? Why can't you trust me just one more time? I can fix this. You know what? She's wearing her new lingerie and waiting for you. And I can tell that right in the moment you see her in that thing, you'll be seduced again. Okay, then tell me. What do you want me to do? Nothing you can do. There is nothing to fix this. We end here. What? You want to cancel our wedding? Of course. I don't want to marry a cheater. Vivian, I just slept with only one girl. And she's even your best friend. It's not that big of a deal. What did you say? You know there's a bunch of couples out there getting married even after one cheated on the other. I mean, that's Olivia. She's my childhood friend. Well, she's totally healthy, so you're not going to get anything like STDs or anything. What? Ethan, you must be out of your mind saying that shit. Are you sober? Yes, absolutely. Honey, you can't cancel our wedding right now. Everyone's going to laugh at me and my family. How about me? Don't you think that they'll laugh at me if I still let the wedding happen? Despite having found out that my groom and my bridesmaids slept together? But we spent a lot of money on the wedding. If we cancel it now, there's no refund. Are you cool with that? Oh, I thought you did care about how your bride was feeling. But, wow, you're just caring about the money. How ironic. Didn't you think of today when you decided to cheat on me? Ugh, whatever. Olivia was right. You're not marriage material at all. Who the hell is she to judge me? She's much better than you. Also, she obeys the man's orders. Not like you. Well, I can't take another second talking to you. You don't need to worry. Just run to your mistress. I'll take care of the wedding from now on. And you know what? Tomorrow, I'll get married to anyone but you. Fine. Do whatever you want. I'm sick of this. You let me choose Olivia over you. Then tomorrow, don't beg me to come back with you and be your husband. You wish. Good morning, Vivian. How was the wedding? Oh, sorry, I forgot. It's afternoon, so it must be over now. I'm sorry. Ethan and I worked out so hard last night that we overslept all morning. We missed your wedding, honey. Don't be mad at us. What a pity you guys missed the best day ever of my life. Uh, what do you mean? I mean my wedding. But Ethan was with me all morning. How could he join the wedding? Olivia, did I say I would get married to Ethan? Not at all. You're being ridiculous, Vivian. You let the wedding happen without the groom? How pathetic. Oh, I guess you just woke up, right? Haven't you seen my post about my wedding on social media? Don't miss out, bestie. You should check it out now. Oh my god. Vivian? Are you crazy? You changed the groom? In one night? 
I really appreciate your effort. Who's your backup? He's not my backup, okay? Actually, I did intend to cancel the wedding last night, but lucky me, he came and proposed to me. I had no idea that he'd had such a big crush on me all the time since we were in high school. Can you believe this? High school? You married another guy from our high school? Who is that? It's James. What? Vivian, you married Ethan's twin brother? Bingo. How dare you? Did Ethan know about this? I don't care. He's not my fiancé anymore. Now he's my brother-in-law. Ugh, disgusting. See who's talking? You have no right to judge, you and Ethan. Cheaters. Oh, I get it now. Because you couldn't have Ethan, you substituted him with his twin, James. I can see you were standing there imagining Ethan was standing in front of you, saying the sweetest vows to you. Poor James, he just married a problem. Shut up. I'm not the problem. You're the one with the problem, two-faced girl. At least James not a cheater like his trash brother. He's sweet and gentle. He adores me. And I know he does, because he knew everyone would call him a backup. Nonetheless, he chose me and proposed to me. I bet Ethan would never be as brave as him. Okay. They kind of have the same face. But my Ethan is better. He's famous and rich. Rich? Olivia, I used to be Ethan's girlfriend, so I can tell you his income would never be higher than James's. That's silly. James has lived far away from home for years because he's a jerk and feels embarrassed if everyone knows how poor he is. Do you know James is a high-paid doctor in a well-known hospital in California? Meanwhile, his brother is just a loser who calls himself an influencer but has no more than five followers. Oh, he's a cheater too. What? No way. Ethan said he's shooting something and he's going to earn a fortune. You should accept that your husband is poorer than my boyfriend. Then go ask him who paid for the rent for the last six months. Hola, it's me. Well, I've just realized he's no more than a tosser. Why didn't I know that? Only the wearer knows where the shoe pinches, baby. I hope you should have a happy life with your new debt called Ethan. I bet he's not going to make any money in the next six months. Because all of his savings were on the wedding, and no refund, you know? Dang it! I lost out to you again? After all, I only have a lover, but you have a rich husband? That sucks. Vivian, you can't have more than me. Olivia, I can't take another second of you whining. Really? You know what? I think you should spend time getting to know your new love life instead of bothering me on my wedding day, little mistress. Ugh. I hate you, Vivian. This is not the end. I'm going to beat you next time, I swear. Ugh, like I care. Okay, enough shit for today. Bye forever. Vivian, answer your damn phone. I want to talk to you. Hello, brother-in-law. Sorry, I'm really not in the mood right now. Don't call me that. I'm not your brother-in-law. I'm your husband. You're my husband? Ethan, I'm laughing my head off. <laughs> you have such a great sense of humor, you know that? Not funny at all. Vivian, I'm being extremely serious. Okay, fine. So hurry up. What do you want to talk about? Me, you, and my twin brother? Did you really marry James? Exactly. I bet your mistress has told you everything about our chit-chat this morning, right? Are you crazy? I told you to cancel our wedding, not marry my brother. Wow. Just to clear things up, I did cancel our wedding. And right then, James proposed to me and I said yes. Lucky for us, huh? You know who the couple had just canceled their wedding, so we used their stuff. Yesterday you were still my fiancé, but today you married my brother. Why did you do this to me? Excuse me? It should be me who asks you that question. Do I need to remind you of what you did behind my back with my best friend? Well, now, just ex-best friend. Vivian, how many times do I have to say that it was just a mistake? I thought that maybe after a night you would calm down and stop sulking. It's not a girly sulk, okay? I hit the roof when I saw you and her in those dirty photos. 
Oh, so you ended up hooking up with her last night, didn't you? Don't deny it because she bragged about it. Come on. We just chilled out because it was my bachelor party. No big deal. To be honest, you're still my everything at all times. I love you, honey. I'm supposed to be your husband, not James. Listen, no matter what you say, it's not going to work out. We ended yesterday. Everything between us is over. No, Vivian, please. I promise I'll fix it. We'll fix it together. Because that's what a relationship is about, you know? Going through life together. It's us against everything else. If everything else means cheating on your fiancé, there's no relationship or love here. Ethan, when you make a huge mistake, you have to admit it, take responsibility for it, and accept the gonna be result. It's what grown-ups do. Stop acting like a child! Alright, I cheated on you, so what? How about you? Look at what you did. You replaced the groom in just a night. You married your fiancé's brother. That's ridiculous. No one is going to accept this marriage. Only you are opposed to this marriage. What? No. James may be too stupid to understand, but there's no way my parents will let this happen. The opposite is true. Your parents are the ones who supported us the most. After I'd show them the photo of your love affair, they kept saying sorry to me. They felt so disappointed and embarrassed that they said they would pay for the wedding and I didn't have to spend a penny. But that's my money. You paid only one-fifth of the fee. The rest is all on your parents, remember? Then I guess you're no more than a gold digger. You married my brother to take revenge on me, didn't you? Who do you think you are? Besides, you know when I hate someone, I will get rid of them. If I take revenge on you, I won't give a shit what you do. I'll focus on myself. Like what I'm doing right now. Come on, Vivian. I know you so well. You knew James had had a crush on you since high school, but you chose me because he was such a freak then. But I was the famous high school star. But now when he's back as a successful doctor, you took advantage of him to get what you really want. Revenge and money. Wait, did you know James had a crush on me when we were in high school? Of course. Who do you think was the person who wrote you those cheesy love letters in the first week of high school? Oh my god! I thought it was you. You lied to me. No, you're the one who misunderstood the whole story when you told me about those letters. I thought it was just the way you were using the hit on me. Well, it turned out my nerdy twin brother wrote and put them in your locker. But you didn't tell me the truth, although you knew. Why Ethan? It was pretty fun, so I just went with the flow. When he saw you kissing me instead of him, I could tell by looking at his face that he had a great hatred of you. That's why he moved out and disappeared immediately when we went to university. For God's sake, Ethan. If I'd known those letters were not yours, I'd never have asked you out that day. Come on, Vivian. We were both popular then. A rugby player and a cheerleader. That was so amazing. We created an ideal model of all time. We're supposed to be together. Baby, if you divorce James right now, maybe I'll think about marrying you. We can move in again and be happy ever after. You're such an asshole. First you take credit for all those letters to make me think you were my destiny. Then you and your mistress ruined my wedding just a day before it. Now you're asking me to divorce James to marry a loser like you? You're daydreaming. Wake up. I'm not going to let you fool me again. Never. Fine. You lost your last chance to come back to me. I don't need a gold digger like you. There are other fish in the sea. What do you mean? Are you going to cheat on your girlfriend again? Olivia? Well, I thought she was a good girl, but today she kept asking me some silly questions about my job and my earnings. So annoying. Well, then I guess she's not an idiot, as I thought. What? What did you tell her about me? Hmm, let me see. Oh, I just gave my old best friend some information about, you know, my ex-fiancé. Like, how do you earn your living or pay the house rent? Or should I say how I spent money on you? No doubt that she's figured out how her future is going to be if she's staying with you. Anyway, I just told her the truth. Nothing made up. That explains why she kept asking me questions about my finances. How dare you? You want to ruin my future? 
Seems like someone has just lost a good benefit, huh? Oh, that's why you insisted on asking me back to you so that you have a place to live rent-free, right? You're so pathetic. Don't be complacent too soon. Your brief marriage with James is going to end soon. Then you will regret letting me go. Thank you for your wishes on my wedding day, brother-in-law. James and I have a happy ending thanks to you and Olivia. Thanks for being an asshole again so that I could marry my husband. Now get out of our life! Olivia and Ethan's relationship crumbled in the aftermath of their deceit, marked by a heated argument that sealed their separation. Despite Olivia's attempts to apologize and reconcile, Vivian stood firm, unwilling to welcome traitors back into her life. As Olivia grappled with the consequences, Vivian and James's love story continued to blossom. The brief turbulence caused by Olivia and Ethan ultimately reinforced the strength of Vivian and James' connection. Destiny, it seemed, had guided them back together, and their love triumphed over betrayal.